Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Actually looking at it, I forgot it's night time. We better go and have a quick sleep before we do anything else. Oh, oh wrong direction. Um so what I plan to do this episode is to take start to produce the, the materials we need for the rocket. So let's go down here and get out of this machine so we need um plenty of aluminium, plenty of steel plenty of bronze as you can see this is going up nicely and so is this so let's take this steel ingots with us we need I'm just having a quick think actually the last time I looked I think it was something ridiculous like 29 23 stacks so what I want to do is I'm going to put those into here like that I want to automate this so I don't have to feed them in manually so let's come along here and let's get some item ducts and a servo I don't think I need anything else actually item ducts and a servo that we made last time we're also going to have to make lots of plates which is also a bit of a nuisance but never mind we can sort this out so we can connect that there like that we don't want to connect onto here so we'll turn that off and we'll bring that we'll put the servo onto here like this and we'll activate it so you get six slots for the hardened one. So that's going. That should go into there. I'm hoping that they'll get fed into here. Oh, they are good. Smashing. So they're going to get fed into here, and then they're going to come out here as as plates, which is fantastic. Phew! I'm glad about that. So the other thing we'll need to do is make a lot of aluminium as well. So aluminium is which colour is aluminium? It's probably silver, shiny. Ah, yes, it's red, but it doesn't turn out to be red ingots. So let's put, let's remove this, what we've got in here, that's tin, I guess. Put aluminium in there, and then put that bucket back, and let's have a look. We've got tin ingots, so we'll, we'll take all of these out, we'll put those back into the system. I'm pleased with that chest, it's a good place. Like that. Well... Yep. Yeah, it's working just fine. Even with a speed upgrade. It's still going to take a while to do all of this, of course. So what have we got in here? Another 16. That'll take a few seconds to go down. An empty refactory case. I probably need to make some rubber. Which, of course, I have to do in this one down here, don't I? Which is actually turned on. That one. No. Oh, ignore redstone. Aha. Uh -huh. That's strange. I must have maybe accidentally clicked that. So we'll get some. Wait for this to finish. I'm not going to bother counting the amount of plates and whatever. Because, yes, I should do. And I have done to a certain extent. And there's a lot of them. There we go. So I'll let that fill up with aluminium. Um, what else do I want to do? I want to come downstairs. I was thinking about this problem with the carbon. I'm not sure how to sort it out, to be honest with you, but the problem here is I think that's still a bit on the low side. This is working quite nicely now. I think the problem is here is that one of these goes to 10 hydrogen and 6 carbon ok 10 hydrogen 6 carbon and here we're using 8 and 4 so that means we have 2 and 2 left over and here we're using 8 and 5 so as a slight imbalance I think we're using more hydrogen than we are carbon so we're ending up with a bit more carbon than we actually need also the hydrogen is coming out of here a bit slow that's carbon and that's hydrogen yes well actually it doesn't really matter that much to be honest with you we only need about 128 rubber and by the time we've, we've prepared all of the um, steel and bronze we're not going to need that for quite a long time so we've got near 35 we've got three stacks of 
bronze now. Let's go and take these upstairs and get these plated. And we can take some aluminium as well, of course, and get that plated, so to speak. And put those in there like that. And tin we don't want. And aluminium we've got 64, that's good. So we can put those into there like that. And eventually we're going to just end up with lots and lots of plates in here. So let me just double check. It's only about 10 stacks. We need at least double that for steel. And. Oh, I don't know how many. I've got to figure it out. It's actually quite awkward to calculate. Because everything needs everything. Oh, I do want to. Let's put these into here, first of all. I want to do need another book, don't I? So let's put like that and leave those because that's going to use five million rubber each time so we're going to get rubber balls very slowly aluminium phosphate we've got plenty of now so we can make more um crystals uh quartz fibers and i made another cache here hardened cache which you can make directly which is good what else do we do we can we do get rid of this copper Copper goes into this one over here, doesn't it? Yeah. And of course it uses a lot more copper than it does tin, so it's slower. Right. So those are working fine. And I think if this isn't filled up, this is also working fine. And the excess carbon I put into here, so it could be used up in here. And that's burning down at a reasonable rate. If it goes wrong, by the way, this will actually burn down in about one second. Oh, just got another creeper to it. Okay, so I can take these saplings out of here. And there'll be some more saplings over here as well. Where did that put that chest here? Well, I don't think we're ever going to get to the stage of using all of those up. I was going to get this stuff out of this cup chest over here, I think we've probably got the uh, we have, as I thought the other cellulose stuff in here like that, we can put that in there um, I'm going um um because I'm not exactly sure what to do next actually I've got to wait for things to happen put the tin away and put, put these away as well. We don't need these anymore. See, I might thought I thought I'd got some more ducks on me. Let's have a look. Yes, we have. Plenty of item ducks. Plenty of cables at the moment. Is there anything else I need to manufacture for the time being? Just to check the water situation. I would like to automate that definitely. Zero. Yes. Well, we've got two sources of water actually. We've got another good one over here. Where have it gone to? Here we are. Let's do, oh, we can use this as well, of course. I think we can use the mattock. Is that fast or is that slow? Looks a bit slow, doesn't it? Yeah, very. Oh, is that not working? Certainly, the diamond shovel is a lot faster. But what I could do with the mattock, therefore, is to add some more redstone to that. And that is another. That is something else we need to automate. Well, like, no, put it this way, I need to automate that. <laughs> Got funny watching this. That was all that was all that we got two stacks. Oh I thought there was something wrong here. Oh that looks a bit better. I must have got trapped behind the snowman. Or the snow golem. So what we could do with these of course is we can then smelt these and that'll actually produce water. Um, but I can't smell them so easily. Oh, 
So I suspect the best is to decompose. The cactus. You'll see that melons are now growing nicely, and so, is, and so are the um, pumpkins. And I've also put them on the right side now. Things are working a bit better. I just spied it just then. Where has it gone to? Now, right below me. It's, I think this might be one of the reasons why this isn't working very well. That's because there's too many mobs around underneath, and it might be mob capped. I'm not sure about that. 1710 I think was mob cat differently than the newer ones. So we'll look over here, we should see this should be working nicely as well. well I don't see it working at the moment. It's daytime, that's fine. But with these big quarries, it's actually quite difficult to tell. Maybe it's even full up. Well, that should be okay. So the panels are working away. Oh, yes, that's fine. Oh, now I can see it working. It really is a long way away. That's working well, so we've got resources coming in steadily. But what we're going to do next is we'll check where's my RF pickaxe. We'll check what we've got for diamonds and things like that. Because the next thing I'd like to do is to make another enchanted, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Enchanted uh, laser plus. At least get it up to level, maybe level three. But we need quite a lot of XP for that, and that's what's where the problem is here, I wish you don't need any XP for that, do we? But while I'm in here, let's quickly change the oxygen. Plenty of oxygen now, but uh, it's easy to forget. So what did I was going to do? Yes, look here, we've got plenty of those diamonds. We've got 79. So we can certainly make another laser plus. So let's have a look what we need for the laser plus. If I can spell this one. So 16 diamonds, 192, that's three stacks of redstone. Half a stack of that, two and a half stacks of glass, one stack of that, and half a stack of gold. So what could be a problem there would be redstone. Oh, I've got plenty of redstone. We need three stacks, don't we? Glowstone, we need one stack. Gold. We need half a stack, and we haven't got very much. We've got plenty of broken gold. So maybe I need to make some gold ingots. Let's do that as well. I know at the moment we've probably got um, lots of aluminium in here. So let's just clear that off here. I'll need to put this back again and I'd love to find a better way of doing this but I don't think there is as such for that so we need some gold that's got that gold's the end one of course it's funny how the gold changes color when you put it into the thing I don't even know we can put it into here can we you see we're getting lots and lots of plates coming out here which is great and we're going to have to run some of those plates through twice. So gold are still working away. So let's get the rest of the ingredients. Glass was another one, wasn't it? It's two and a half stacks of glass. Actually, that's quite a lot of glass. Wrong place. Let's put those into here. So we'll need two stacks of glass. I think I'm going to have to go downstairs to do that. Unfortunately, I don't have, I'm not storing any, I thought there was at one time. Cobblestone, what have I got here? Some quintuple, but nothing's coming in, so that's blocked. Great. Of course, it, no, it shouldn't be blocked. Why is it blocked? 
909. That's got plenty of everything in it, no big deal. This has got a stack of each. And it's not producing cobblestone. I've had this before. Let's try this. It's still not producing cobblestone. So what I did last time was to take the book out and then put the book in again. And now it's producing cobblestone. Okay, yes, I wanted to do another book, didn't I, for bronze. That's no big deal. Let's just um, come along here. Oh, too far. Let's come along here. and Let's go to the bronze chamber here and take one bronze and go take all the bronze and go out to make a difference. Come upstairs. Let's come into the right room, or not the wrong room, and put the bronzing into. Oh, we need. Ah, oh, I've forgotten something. I need to make a journal again. I haven't got any journals in there, but I've got a journal here. Rest of you, I mean. So I can make another journal. I've still got some more space for journals, that's good. So we can put the journal in, take this journal out of here put this journal and put this one into that so that gives us the recipe for that that's the general one I'll put this one back it's a shame you can't colour these books that would be great because then you can see from the book and so we put that into here you see nothing's come in the side of this one but that's fine I want to speed this up I'm just going to stick in here some stack upgrades by the way it'll put through there a stack at a time and that's all it probably needs in fact so that was that so everything's working oh yes it needs two and a half stacks of cobblestone so if I take a stack of compressed cobblestone if I've got one oh just disappeared triple compressed let's take one of these Quintuple compressor. It's going to take a long time to get that 43 million. That's too many. So let's put that into four. Oh, it's four. It'll do. That's almost exactly two and a half. That's two and a half. So let's go and pulverize that. We need to pulverize this into sand, of course. And unfortunately, I don't have any way of feeding this into here. And because this is thermal expansion, I can't put it on the top. Uh, ooh. Actually, I could, couldn't I? I can simply put an, exp an export node on there and put cobble into it. But we don't have any cobble in the system as such. But actually, that isn't such a bad idea. If I've got enough. Let me export bus, that'll do fine. But of course, I can't then import it sort of a waste of an ME bus but it doesn't matter at the moment. let's just do configuration input here so that will then get cobblestone let's put cobblestone into this filter here and let's come over here but I could actually extend that and put gravel as well let's put all of this into there like that oops that should with a bit of luck start to give us some more gravel should uh, cobble should start being fed into here so this should always be fed up to you see that's just gone up which is good and we're getting some sand out of here which is also good because we can smelt the sand directly to glass and we can wait for that as well so this this has also not been it it's, um, upgraded yet the redstone furnace while this is resident I've used it all for secondary products mainly because I want to get the sulfur from the coal to make um, um, what do we need to make with that? Blazing pyrothium I think because we need that 
for the uh, enderium. We need a block of enderium as well, which is going to be fun. So the blazing pyrothium. I don't know how much sulfur we've got here now. None. Okay, we've got no sulfur in there, which is a bit of a shame. We have to make a lot because one of these things, which one the rocket. I think it's this requires a block of enderium, so we need to make 90 pyrothium dust. Sorry, not blazing pyrothium, pyrothium dust. So that's it. My goodness, it's going to take a long time to do before we actually get anywhere with this. And we're basically going to have to split these into every third one, like this. We are going to have to um, put that like that. Every third one like that, we're going to have to reprocess again and make plates out of. In fact, I might as well put these bronze into here and just wait. So there's a big waiting game now. And it's a big. It's not really a grind. It's just a. It's just a waiting game, and it would be really nice to have a lot more cobblestone generated faster. I'm just wondering whether to do that next time or just to put up with what I've got at the moment. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do with the mob farm. Let's have a look. That's completely empty. That's good. And that's got 61 in. That's good. That means I think this is working perfectly. So let's take the um, RR pickaxe now and just knock this down. Yeah, that's perfect. We're just filling up my chest now with <laughs> well I am definitely filling up these chests oh so I should have done that one more time with moon dirt oops missed because I don't think we need this anymore do we Because these are all going to be coming into here like this. I mean, dirt and they put that there. So it takes a few seconds before it picks it all up. Look at that. So let's go and collect these bits over here. I'm just thinking I don't want to knock the chest, so I'll do it from this side here. Like that. So that's that working nicely now. Thank you very much, Barry. That's a good tip, by the way. We got some mint, of course. I think that's everything. And that's much cleaner anyway. It's much more visible, isn't it? It's just this is bothering me at the moment. Because what I'd like to do down here is put things like potassium cyanide and other nice chemicals. Because we can make potassium cyanide. In fact, it might be worthwhile doing a bit of potassium cyanide. Should we have a quick look? It's one of the things you can make out of nitrogen. So let's get some cocoa beans and then decompose those. Because we get out of here, not this one, we'll have a brown, we get nitrogen, plenty of it. Put that back in again. So if we look for the uses of nitrogen, it's really the synthesis machines. So we can get amphetamine. They're all drugs, basically. Amphetamine. So C9H13. Okay, let's try that. And it's going to give us really weirdo effects. I know that. So H13. Take a couple of stacks of that. Three. Three stacks of carbon. Come over here to the synthesizer. So that's now done all of the rubber, that's good. So we should have lots of rubber balls in there, 29. And, oops, I didn't shift in, just shift into that, that's right, yeah. So, oh, rubbish, that's the one I don't want to do, so. Right, try again, here. So we can stick everything in here like that. So, C9, 
I'll split it into f 16, that'll do. H13, we can split that into four. Oh, okay. And one N is it? And that gives me amphetamine. I want about 16 of those. But no, actually I want about eight of those to be honest with you. Got two out of there. Now we can then clear the recipe out of here like that. And then what we can do with this, of course, you can put them down by the door. Um, I think I won't put it down by the door, I'll just put it down here. Oops, oops, not nice. Oop, I died. Oops. <laughs> well, there we are. How about that then? I didn't expect it to do that, I will be honest with you. So now I've thought I've got to go back to my base here and clean up this amphetamine which is coming out of here. <laughs> Oops, I wanted to try that on mobs rather than myself, so there we are. So let's pick up my stuff. I need my magnet. Let's just get my magnet in my hot bar and then we'll be okay. There you go. So it doesn't help me much when you do that stuff like that. Let's put this in here like this. What else do I want to do in here? That's fine. So I should have some empty tubes. I have good. I should be able to break this place down here which I can I think that shouldn't have broken the glass permanently let's just see if we can pick up this stuff well I died pretty quickly for that amphetamine didn't I there you are then there's a lesson learned <laughs> don't play with drugs <laughs> but I wanted to see how effective that was on mobs and I found out for myself haven't I <laughs> well on that note I shall just stand by my death marker and I'll say bye for now. See you next time.